Blood is thicker than water, and you and I have bled a lot together. You're trading your honor for their agenda. Right, let's get after him. Go, 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 go. No! Fuck you now. Come on, Fisher. Get him! Get him! Doesn't have to end like this, Sam. No, but it does have to end. Can I shoot? We agree. We've been fighting their dirty little wars our entire lives, and where do we end up? Staring at each other down the barrels of our guns. Nothing has changed, Fisher. And it won't change by degrees. We have to tear it down and start over. It's the only way. Your own little chaos theory. Throw the world into war and hope that what comes out the other side is better. It will be better. Because this war will change things, Sam. Every other war has been about keeping things the same, but the status quo doesn't work anymore. America's sick, Sam. She's dying. The politicians, the bureaucrats, the whispered backroom deals. It's all life support for a sick old lady who was dead a long time ago. The only backroom deals that I've seen lately were made by you. You're a murderer and a war criminal. Those are the only names the state has for the revolutionary, Sam. You only become a hero after the war is over. You know the truth. The world is built from the bottom up, not the other way around. Honor, courage, fidelity. We don't inherit these things from the world, Sam. We build the world from them. I know you. You believe in these things more than any government. And I know that because of it, Shoot? You wouldn't shoot an old friend. <laughs> really? Really? You down? Boom! Right, welcome back everyone to Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Uh, sorry about the break. The uh, the game crashed and I lost the, I lost the save data, so I had to start all over again um, with this um, with this particular um, mission. So uh, yeah, it took ages for us to get back to this uh, to this particular mission and be able to start all over again. Uh, so yeah, this is where we are. Admiral Otomo and the Japanese ISDF are responsible for working with Douglas Shetland to push the the Koreas and the United States into war. It must be determined if Otomo's actions are sanctioned by the Japanese government or an Otomo must be stopped. Events today jeopardized diplomatic efforts when North Korean armor encountered a so-called self-healing minefield while attempting to withdraw from the area. North Korean forces were adequately cautioned that self-healing minefields along the DMZ should not be considered cleared obstacles. We're back at the brink of war, and now we find out it is the Japanese? The Japanese are allies. I don't care if they're the Christmas elves. They sank the Walsh. We don't know that their government was involved. We know Admiral Otomo was involved, and we know where the gentleman is. We have to go in now, immediately. The fact is, we don't know how far the conspiracy goes. If Otomo's actions are sanctioned by the Japanese government, then the only solution is military. But, if he's acting alone... Your man again? He's already in position. Send him in. Send him in. The State Department has lost contact with all of the U.S. officers who work at the Kokubo Sosho with the Japanese Self-Defense Force. It looks like the SDF have taken them prisoner. They're refusing to answer our calls. In typical fashion, the Japanese are circling their wagons. Either they're afraid to admit they've lost control of Otomo, or they're actually sanctioning him. If that's the case, we'll have to come clean with North Korea, which will spark a massive war in Asia. If not, we need to find out what our officers know and figure out what to do about Otomo before North Korea finds out what's going on. Sam, even if the Japanese government is not sanctioning him, Otomo still clearly has the capacity to strike. 
If he's still in control of the information arm of the SDF, you'll need to deal with him very carefully. There's no telling what kind of havoc he could unleash. Last contact we had with any U.S. personnel in the Kokubo Sosho was a fragment of a phone call from Major Harper, a logistics advisor to GSDF. From the sounds of the call, the room he was in was raided by Japanese troops, and he was taken prisoner. It doesn't sound like anyone has been killed, and if there's any hope of maintaining peaceful relations with the Japanese, you're going to have to keep it that way. No worries, mate. No worries. Uh, yeah, go on. Fisher, I can't stress this enough. If one Japanese soldier dies, we risk World War III. Any fatalities and I abort the mission immediately. I understand. Locate our officers and find out what the hell is going on there. I'll find them. What are we doing in Fisher? Where we got to go, mate? Where we got to go? What's this? What are you? Are you a thing? Are you a hackable thing? No? What's this then? What's that? Well, something tells me I'm gonna to want to get rid of them anyway, so Bonk How do I get in, do you reckon? You just press the button, of course you do. Of course you do, you just press the button, didn't you? Uh tell me. Right. Right, well, there's somewhere to put the bodies at the very least, eh? Right, what are these two Muppets up to? Uh, um, lights just come back on. Quick, quick, get in. Get in. Oh, close the door. Oh, right. No one. Oh, lovely stuff. Yes, that's what we want to see, isn't it, eh? I'll give it a shake. Go on, son. <laughs> of course he's holding his gun. Of course he is. Easy, now. Nah. Easy, boy. Bloody hell. Oh. Well, I'm glad you washed your hands anyway, mate. So let's just keep it there. Can we have a look? <laughs> right, now let's not do that. Behave yourself. Come on. Come on, serious. Can I switch? Can I switch the light off? Was there a little... No. That's the wrong, wrong light anyway. Oh, bloody hell. Why is there a mirror right fucking there? Glad you think so, mate. Who are you talking to? You're talking to yourself really, really loudly. Oi, oi, I can hear a camera somewhere. Right. A reminder to all enlisted personnel, log in and out with your warrant officer after hours. Right, there's the camera. 
There's a geezer there. We've got a metal detectors around him, so we don't want to go anywhere near him, do we? But you, sunshine. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Right. Where are you going? Are you two going to have a little chin wag, are you? I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Me too. Go tell Ellie. We should order some dinner in for the men who are working late. Reminder, Why not? Are to be they transferred him. We are all the from They transferred Ellie? Matter. What are they thinking? Thinking? Ha! What are you talking about? Thinking. No one around here thinks. Ha! Clearly, no truer conversation has there been. There's a cool space there. That's helpful, isn't it, eh? Right. Does this just... Do you reckon this, that's going to go around the back to the... Yeah, it's just going to take me back that way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I don't want to go anywhere near him anyway. Right. Is that a light light? Or is it just a... Yeah, it's a nice dark space back here. Right, what are those things? Can we scan them and all? Yeah? I've no idea. No idea what I'm doing. Um, he's going to spot me, surely. This is blocked off. Can I not do anything there now? Very observant. Very observant guards we've got here. Hello, son. What are you doing standing there in the dark? Don't you know there's not very there's some not very nice people about? Like me. Here we go. Don't worry, sunshine. We'll give you a nice nice little spot somewhere for you to have a nap, alright? Somewhere, somewhere about here, maybe. Somewhere like that. Does that look alright for you? Lovely. We've been very humane, haven't we? Been very humane on this, uh, on this mission so far. Doing alright, haven't we? Not easy. Not too loud now, Fisher. Not too loud, mate. Oh! Hello, son. Can you sod off? I'm not going to the bathroom. Okay, fine. We can hold it. We'll be right here. Yes, you will. Uh, you're going to be a right pain, aren't you? Come on, Fisher. First time. Come on. Here we go. And this one. It's a low light, but it doesn't matter. So that just alert them, did it? Answer the question. Those are my orders. Who's yours? 
a general! A general? Don't you mean Admiral? What do you mean? Your orders? Do they come from Admiral Tomo or not? No! We have orders not to shoot them, but just to hold them here. They're not hostages! We're just detaining them! They're not hostages! We're just detaining them! Oh, that makes it all right then, doesn't it? There we go. You have a little lay down, you two, all right? Oh, Jesus. Bloody music. Scared the crap out of me, then. Come on. Take your time. Don't worry. You know, it's not like I've got somewhere to be. Bonk. There you go. The music's gonna scare the shit out of me again in a minute. There we go. Right, so somebody else is obviously looking for us, or the equivalent of, I suppose. Right, so let's let's just dispatch these lights as well then, just to make sure. Where's the door? There's the door. No, that's not the door. Where's the door? There we go. We're in. Can I just... Oh. Ah, bollocks. Be more careful, Fisher. Mission couldn't be more sensitive. So there's a vent there that I can now see that I can crawl through. That's going to take me back to where I started, isn't it? So where's the geezer who reckons he knows where I am then? Someone's setting the music off. Uh, what are these two up to? Can I go up? I don't suppose I can get up there, can I? There is a pipe there, though.
What do we reckon? Can we go all the way along? Yeah, the old music matches this, isn't it? <laughs> oh, is that as far as it goes? Oh, that's... Uh, you're having a bubble. Uh, uh, right, okay, so I've got to wait for him, that geezer to turn around. There we go. And start working his way backwards. And then... That's a broom anyway, it's not even a mop. Look here, it's not even a mop, lunatic. <laughs> right, is that a doorway there? Is that what that is? As soon as he turns around. There we go. Can we sneak? Is this a doorway? It's got to be something, surely. Where? The, where? How? What? Where? He's going to spot me, surely. He's going to spot me, he? surely. I'm going to be right next to him. Luckily, this guy is an idiot. Bless you. Gotcha. I'm leaving a right pile of them around here, haven't I? Well, we've got three of them already. Yeah, this makes number four. Lovely. Look at these little sleeping beauties, look. There you go. Five of them. Dive in here real quick. Let's just get out of the bloody way. There's the ramp. There it is. Right. How do we get down there without those... Without these guys seeing me? Okay, it's actually pretty... Uh. Can I turn these lights off? Is that what that is? There we go. There we go. And then if I jump up on here. Can I not jump up on there? Why why wouldn't I be able to jump up on there? There's a camera at the bottom. Do I just wait for him to come up? Something tells me I probably should wait for him to come up and try and turn the turn the lights back on. For our bang him out, but he is taking his sweet time getting up here. Bloody hell, mate. Lovely stuff. Come on, then. Come on. Grab him. Nice toy. What kind of ammo does it use? How about you let me go and I'll show you? Don't get smart. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's some kind of shock round. Uh, electric. Interesting. You have any extra? Well, it's not like you can shake me and make my ammo fall on the floor to pick up. You're awfully flippant for someone with a knife to his throat. Uh, all right. I think they keep some extras in the storeroom. 
could you not hold the knife so close, please? Shut up. Fisher, from the looks of it, these guards are LTL equipped. Less than lethal. Why? There's only one reason I can think of that they'd issue them to combat troops. They'll want to interrogate anyone they catch. Well, I'm not the talkative type. Rather helpful individual, wouldn't he, eh? Rather helpful. Right. So we've got a camera there. Where am I now? So I'm I'm there. So if I go right, it's going to take me to a room. If I go left, it's going to take me around to what is probably the main objective. So I'm going to go right first of all. See where that takes me. Easy now. Easy now. I'm glad this camera takes its sweet time to do its pass. Oh my word. Keep an eye on everyone there. A reminder to all enlisted personnel. Oh. Log in and out with your warrant officer after hours. Okay, I need to I need a pair of eyes on that one. Something tells me somebody comes down here anyway. There he is. I bet it's him. I bet it's you, innit, sunshine? I really do not The Colonel would like to talk to you. Again! Come on, America! Talk! How did you get in here? You will need to tell me something. Before I can begin to negotiate on your behalf, Sasha. <laughs> cool. Give him Fuck a little down. extra, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Come on, Fisher, bloody hell. Come egg. on, American. Make it easy on yourself. You do not want to know the other option. Do not think he is going to talk, sir. I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Come on, Fisher. Yes, this will be real talk. Oh, I've... Oh, God. Come on. You'll find out what you know. Give me a... Yes. This will make you talk. Come on. Eighty-four kilograms. Hello, son. Bad news, Colonel. Uh, how did you get free? Listen, I'm not feeling too good right now. Under any other circumstance, I'd jump at the chance to cut you a second smile. Please, don't kill me, American. I have orders not to, but I could still hurt you pretty bad if I feel like it. How many more men do you have down here? I didn't call any more reinforcements. The captain needed more men downstairs. No one was expecting you. So it's just your buddy outside the door. Yes. A minute more, and I'd have started with the reaches. I was careless. I 
was Keris. All right, well, let's put you down then. There we go. Let's not knock you out as well. Right, let's grab my bits. all my bits. Grab kit. There we go. Mention it, maybe I could use a week on the beach instead. You'll have it as soon as we find out what's happening in the war room. I'm on my way. Uh, lovely. Okay, I'm just wondering was I supposed to get captured then? Was that a good thing? I've no idea, but we did, and we are where we are. What's that? Nothing. Give me. Come on, Fisher. Here we go. So there's two guards. Okay. I can see someone on the camera. Located by the sober room. I've spotted a body. Located by the sober room. We have a body. Located by the sober room. What the fuck am I doing? There's a body on the camera. Located by the sober room. There. I've spotted right. a body. Located by the sober room. room. We have an intruder. Located by the sober room. Let's get let's get out of here. This is a real pain in the ass. Right, so not very stealthy, but I have no idea how anyone seems to think we're going to be stealthy out here. If I'm being brutally honest, here we go. Right. Don't get caught. Don't 
let anything like this happen again. He was too fast for me. Oh my god. Jeez, look at my health. Bloody hell. Right, good. We've got a pile of bodies there. I don't suppose there's a health kit kicking around, is there, guys? No? Is that what that is at the end there? So that's the camera in it. So if I get close to this door, what's it do? It just opens, of course it does. That double isolated room in the center of the corridors is the war room, Sam. You'll need to find a way to record the information. Let's just see. There we go. We've got someone in here who should not be. Lovely. Oh my god. Grab him, Fisher, for God's sake. How do I get into the war room? They seal the door from the inside, unless you have industrial razor. I hope for your sake you have a better idea. Oh, God, please, wait. There, there's air vent over the room. Maybe you can see in from there. I'll have a look. You wait here. <laughs> okay. Who are you? Grab you and all, mate. Not having that. Not having you wandering about. Oh, danger numpty over here. Right, we reckon up there, do we? Yeah? Lovely stuff. Sam, you should be able to laser mic the war room from the vent overlooking it. Which is just the line is secure. This, yeah. Yes, we're ready to connect. I can patch them through. Yes, sir. Here's Admiral Otomo. Admiral. Here we go. What is the meaning of this? You will repeal the post-war constitution. You will order the immediate remilitarization of Japan and return control of our nation to the order of the emperor. The United States will support this act politically and militarily to release themselves from further financial and military obligations, thereby concluding our relationship in Asia. This is impossible. Even if we repeal the Constitution, the Emperor would never... The Emperor will do what the military tells him! I am not an unreasonable man. The efforts will take time. I have faith in your honor and prudence. So I give you 96 hours. 96? The people will never allow it. If in four days these demands are not met, I will initiate the launch of a North Korean ballistic missile and sacrifice a Japanese city of my choosing. Regrettably, this will kill millions. But it will steal the will of the people if your appeals cannot. For the sake of your honor and for the sake of Japan, I plead with you do not force my hand in this matter. That's it. He caught the signal. 
My God! Otomo has been manipulating the Japanese government. We need to know what's next. The general in the war room is up to something. Access his laptop from the vent overlooking the room. What are our options? Can we retake the command center? What if it fails? Do we have another choice? Why not just done that? Our options. Can we retake the command center? What if it fails? Do we have another choice? Here we go. My God, we are doomed. We cannot do that. We cannot tell the Americans. He cannot fail. He has lost his mind. You are gold. Yes, no. We doing? Okay, so I can't come outwards that way, no. So we're gonna squeaky bum all the way back. There we go. There's another there's not another way to go, is there? It's a bit late for that in the eight. So is it down here? Um. Fisher, the Joint Chiefs need Otomo alive at any cost. Fifth room yeah. with everyone but him. Your non-lethal parameter is lifted. Team. Cut the power to the elevators. 
Fisher. North Korea just contacted NORAD and the President. Report that they've lost control of a launch facility. They can't abort, and they're not sure that they can destroy the missile on time. How long? They say three minutes until it's away. I think I can reach the server in time. Hurry up! Yes, they are. Jolly good. Where are these health kits? Um. Take these idiots out first. There we go. Quick run. They say sixty seconds until it's away. No, oh, no, fuck that. No, 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 just blow it up. I think. What happens if we just blow it up? Tell me. <laughs> okay. So tell me there is a health kit somewhere nearby. Come on. Where's this going to take me at? We reckon. I didn't even know this was here. I fell down it, obviously. Right. If I'm, yeah, there we go. Good. I might be on the pair of it. If I take you out. There we go. And I want to grab the other one. You gonna talk to me at all? Yes. Tell me how to get into Otomo's office. Oh, never! I have orders to take him alive, but it's a different story for you. Please! No! You're getting closer and closer to dead. Under the floors! I think there's a way, but Otomo will never surrender. We'll see about that. Oh, this shall be your tomb, American. Shut up. Right. Is that a Tomo there? Is that a camera there on the wall? No. We're gonna. What have you done, American? Give it up, Admiral. It's over. <laughs> you think that I will surrender to you? You think that I will allow your people to strip me of my dignity? Throw me in chains? No. I think. My people have endured your charming oppression for more than 60 years. You say tomato. Americans, <laughs> always turning to their jokes when their hearts are full of fear. And you should be afraid. I may be defeated, but I am a man. And ideas are stronger than men. You may even prevent this war, American. The 
Oh dear. Um. Oh. Oh dear. Right. Otomo just tried to commit seppuku. Get in there and stabilize him fast. How do I get in? How do I get in? Is there a door? No. How do I? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Save him, Fisher. Save him. Um. Good work, Fisher. He's stable. Is he you indeed? Oh. Him out of there. You're going to have to blast your way out. <laughs> We're over a hundred feet underwater. You're not pressurized, Fisher. It will be a shock, but you won't get the bends. Next time, you're going on the mission, and I'm making up the crazy plan. What we got to do? What we got to do? Place charge. Oh, really? <sighs> Have I got to be anywhere specific or just away from the glass? Yeah, all right. Admiral Otomo, former head of the Japanese Information Self-Defense Force, made a surprise confession today on the witness stand at the Hague War Crimes Trial. Otomo openly admitted conspiring to instigate war between the Koreas and the United States, claiming that the... In other news, China's ambassador to the United States, Long Dan, received the Nobel Peace Prize today for his efforts in defusing the Korean conflict. President Bowers today addressed the nation following the crisis that brought us to the brink of war. Finally, I want to take a moment to thank those unsung heroes in the intelligence community very well have saved our nation and the world from certain disasters. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> the boss seems happy. <laughs> How about that raise? They're cutting us back. You'll have to settle for a vacation. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> well, I must admit, that was a bit of a disappointing end, I must admit, to that. That was, uh, yeah. That's a shame. Anyway, not bad. Not bad at all. Not a bad game. So, what we can do in future is we can obviously go through the whole thing again and just see what the different outcomes are. So, if you don't get what happens if you don't get arrested at that point, and you know what happens if you don't do a if you don't kill anyone throughout the missions and stuff like this, because I'm sure there are going to be people that absolutely know the answers to those questions, but I haven't got a clue. So if we do play it in future, then we'll have to do another playthrough, like non-lethal and all that, all that jazz. But I really hope you enjoyed the uh, the, the, the Splinter Cell trilogy. Um, everyone it's been an absolute pleasure I've, I've absolutely loved playing these games with you all and uh, like i said i never actually played through uh, uh chaos theory all the way through so i'm glad we did it together and uh, i hope you all enjoyed it and uh yeah we're going to move on to some more games going forward obviously we've been working our way through the last of us part one and two we're, we're going to be uh so we're going to finish off part two with a few live streams and things so i hope you all enjoy that one and uh have a lovely day guys look look after you look after yourselves and each other and i'll see you all in the next one take care guys all the best